He was our first cooking guest in our Super Home Surplus Kitchen, so we thought it was only right to bring him back today to celebrate with us. Oh, we are so happy. Chef John Lasseter is here with Hattie B's. You've got a special today in Nashville hot chicken recipe, which just warms our heart. Exactly. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah. We so had to bring proud of Hattie B's. I mean, you've just exploded. Truly. Exploded. It's been wild, but it's uh, it's been fun to kind of grow this concept, and and we got a good team to do it, so it's been fun. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. You know, I learned a secret. I can get your Hattie B's at Bishop's. That's right. <laughs> so our sister restaurant really? today, guys, uh, Bishop's Meat and Three. It's their 10-year anniversary. So they've been at this nine years longer than we have. That's okay, exactly. I see how so, you roll. It's fine. But That's you can good. go down there and get Hattie B's hot chicken. So make your way down there today and and celebrate that 10th year anniversary with them. Okay, so what are we going to do? That. We're pumped. doing our own take, right? This yeah, is a little so different. I kind of Frenched it up for you guys. We got the champagne today. Ooh, I'll take care of that. We're gonna Thank do a you. little French version of a hot chicken sandwich. Okay. So Let's do it. I thought it would be great. So first we're going to make a Dijonese. Okay. And I'll you can buy these at the grocery store, but it's so easy just to make your own. It's three components really, but I kind of elevated a little more with some herbs. And uh, first you're going to start with a good mayo. I like Duke's mayo. Okay. A little Dijon mustard. You have to use Duke's if you're in the South, don't you? Exactly. That's right. And then some champagne vinegar. And that's it, really. That's it. So a cup All of the right. mayo, I do a half a cup of the Dijon, mm. and then a quarter of a cup of the vinegar. Oh, OK. So one cup, half, and a quarter. Absolutely. I can remember that. And then some herbs just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. I got some tarragon. Nice. I'm going to do a little bit of chives. Ooh. And oh. some parsley. Put it all in there. And don't forget good. to oh, gosh, salt it, and pepper it, of course. Yeah. It smells amazing. That does look awesome. Perfect. So I've kept it really simple on this salad. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is have the base of frisée. Okay. You can get this at the grocery store. I just cut it from the bottom and peel the leaves apart. Okay. And okay, so I do have to say, I, I'm this scares me, this green. Usually that's what I throw away. Right, right. because I'm like, what do I do with this? Yeah, just so, being honest. So well, you're when saying... When you put hot chicken on it, it's going to taste good, right? Okay, well, 100%, 100%. 100%. this is the type of uh, lettuce that I get. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so you just stuck your hands all up in there. It's good, Carol. Go for it. All right. So we took the Dijonais and we're gonna dress out those greens. Nice. That is yummy. Okay, so guess what? Hattie B's is at Music City Food and Wine That's all right. weekend. Wow. Friday, Saturday, and you're doing the gospel brunch. Oh, what's that you're putting in? A little cornichons. You gotta have some pickles, right? Right. Oh yes. Mm, so stir like that. that up real good. So tell us what you're going to be doing uh, at Music City Food and Wine Fest. Give us the details. So we're doing two bites this year. Okay. Um, the jambonette, which is a French wing. So you kind of have like a little handlebar, and it's a mini leg in a way. So it's just real fun to eat. It really kind of identifies us, yeah. our hot chicken, in, in the truest form. And then we're going to have a little fun. We're going to do a pimento cheese grit cake one day <gasps> with hot chicken and a bread and butter pickle. And then we're going to do a hot quail slider with sweet and sour Ooh. slaw and some comeback sauce the quail next day. Quail is a tasty little bird. Oh, that yes. is yum. I and love that. If I didn't tell you it was quail, you would never believe it. Really? It wasn't chicken, really, to begin with. So. Which is really, just don't tell me it's quail, because I always right. get, I oh, get quail's like, great. I, I'm sure it is, no, but its, it's so name good. is quail. And that's what I, that's how I do. <laughs> that's how it is. Look at everything that's happening this over here. This is beautiful. So we're going to top that with the okay. dress out for Zay. Fantastic. And then your bun. This looks like a fantastic bite. That looks like a huge bite. I'm really excited about that. Are you all ready for that? Let's do it. Bring it. Yeah, Absolutely. 100%. Happy okay. birthday, guys. Thanks. Thanks. so much. Our okay. first. Our very Here we go, first. Cal. You ready? Cheers. Here, I'll cheers the champagne. Cheers, cheers the champagne. The cheers. Cheers ready? to Let's your greatness. That. Your gift to Nashville. I love it so much. There's no pretty way to eat that. <laughs> oh, but it's good. Oh, my God. Oh, it's really good. You did the mild for me, didn't you? I, I love did. You. And Thank you don't you. have to use the frisee. You can do cabbage. You can do kale and just dress it out the same way that I just dressed it wow. out. Wow. And there's a lot but of But it is there. really good. Even it though it's really a scary good. piece of lettuce. It's super tasty. I love all of that. This recipe mm. is not available at Hattie B's, but you can get their original hot chicken sandwich and so much more. Locations on Charlotte and Midtown. Get there early because you're going to stand in line because they're super popular. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. And don't forget, you can get his hot chicken at Bishop's. 10-year mm. anniversary. Happy birthday, Bishop's. Right there in Cool Springs. Love, Love it. Love you.
I'm hitting it for sure. Happy birthday to you <laughs> Thank guys. Thank you so much. Oh, see you at Food and Wine.